Well, the moment of truth. This is what we've been keeping these bees for all summer long. Golden sweet honey. The bees have capped all the cells. They've determined that it's ready for winter. In order to get the honey out, we've got to remove these caps. And I'm going to use a regular old knife right from the kitchen cabinets. It's kind of serrated and long and straight. And you kind of guide it down the wooden frame and it cuts just the cap off if it's just the right thickness. But where it's not so thick, it's hard to adjust the depth of the cut. And sometimes you just have to make multiple passes because the comb is just so undrawn and so skinny of comb cells, it makes it a challenge. And sometimes you just have to scratch it off. Well, that's a drop in the bucket. And sometimes the bees don't cap over the whole thing, like over here on the left. This hasn't been all capped over. And is it safe? We're going to use this refractometer to check the moisture content. It should be between 16 and 19 percent moisture. That will keep it from fermenting as easy. It looks like we're at 18 and a half. So we're safe. And how did I get there? Well, I used this old attic fan and ran it over the hive frames several days to dry them out. And I ran a dehumidifier, taking moisture out of the room, got it down to 40%. And since I'm all done with this, I'm going to empty this water out because I don't need this anymore. Well, it's time to get the honey out of the frames. And I'm going to use this three frame honey extractor. It spins around very quickly. And the centrifugal force causes the honey to come out one side of the frame at a time. And this is slow motion, so you can see how it's done. But I can't quite see the honey coming out. Can you? Let's try this again. This time I'm going to use a different kind of uncapping tool. It has a little guide that keeps you from going too deep. And it has a bunch of little fingers that go underneath the cappings and pry them off. And for frames that aren't so fatly drawn, it makes it a little easier. But if they're barely drawn or very bumpy, this is not the tool for you. Sometimes scratching is the only way to do it. Well, let's see if we can see the honey coming out of the frame with this point of view. We're going to put it down inside this three frame extractor and see what we can see. There we go. Now the honey is pouring out of those comb cells. Impressive. It's really pouring. Let's crank her up full speed. And I'm holding this with all my might. I'm almost standing on it so it won't bounce across the room. With all that centrifugal force, it comes out fast. So what do you do with these honey frames after you're done with them? Well, we put them back in the hive so the bees can fill them up again. But before we do that, we let the bees empty them completely. Here I've got a whole pile already started. And look, the bees are jumping on before I even get there. They go in there and get every last drop. That way I don't have to worry about them going bad while I'm waiting for the bees to use them again. It might be till, not until next year before they use them again. All depends on the flow. So what does the honey look like after it's been removed from the frames? Now I've got two screens that the honey flows through. And that catches a lot of the bee parts and other particles that are in the honey. 
makes it more pretty. And the room's probably around 80 something degrees. Makes the honey a little thinner and run through a lot quicker. Now here I made a little box. Put all the cappings in. That way I can run it through my spinner. Get the extra honey out of that wax. It's a little messy. But I think it does the job pretty well. So now we're going to drop it in the extractor and let her rip. Now because I only have one framing here, I'm going to run it real slow because she bounces around a whole lot. Well that's it for the honey flow. Thanks for watching.